Hey guys, Sturgis is north of here, man. Jeez, I don't know what's going on. From the soggy marshlands of southeast Nebraska, had a lot of rain out here. There might be alligators living in the backyard here. Welcome to Smoky Goodness 2.0, today featuring something that you might refer to as cashew chicken. This cashew chicken has two caveats. Uh, the first caveat being, uh, in lieu of chicken, we're using Cornish game hens. And uh, they're both kind of partially frozen right now. I think step into the Wayback Machine and debone and de-skin them while partially frozen. That was a lot of fun. And uh, anyway, the second caveat is this, the cashews. These are not your normal garden variety cashews right here. These are Vietnamese cashews. Um, 10 times better than any cashew you can get around here. And even though we have connections, I had to move mighty mounds of granite to get a hold of these. This is actually, I think, our third bag. But every time I gotta move mountains, so enjoy this one. If you can find uh, Vietnamese cashews, by all means, buy them. These things are, they're great. I mean, like the uh, famous old potato chip commercial used to say, once you pop, you can't stop. And it's true, it's like crack, it's, it's addictive. So uh, let's get on with it, stick around. And we begin with a single egg. Just one egg. <laughs> I missed. We're gonna beat that egg. We're gonna beat it like it's the weatherman predicting all this rain that we've had for day after day after day after day. Beat it good. Following the beating all the egg, this ended up being just one of the two uh, little game hens. Uh, after struggling with trying to get the meat off the bone while it was partially frozen, the other game hen ended up going into the other Weber. Okay, and we just want to coat really well the game hen meat with the egg. And this is the meat, this is breast meat, this is thigh meat, this is leg meat, this is everything I could get off that little lady. Alright, next step in the trusty old Weber Silver, we have the Weber Wok, part of the Weber Gourmet System series of fine products. And uh, I don't have the coals directly under the wok. What I've got going on here is I've got a charcoal basket. Yeah, I'm giving it a chance to redeem itself after uh, the disaster a few weeks ago. But it's off to the side, not quite full all the way. I don't want a whole lot of uh, intense heat with this. We just want kind of a medium, medium high heat for this. Anyway, to the Weber Walk, goes in some of your favorite and mine, Sang Stir Fry Oil, about a quarter of a cup of that. Get that all nice and evenly distributed all throughout the uh, surface of the Weber Walk. What? <laughs> Let that just heat up for a little while. The game hen is going to be dredged and some cornstarch. You want to make sure you've got the bird covered really well. Just going to dredge it in this corn, whatever it is, cornstarch. Cornstarch, that's what I'm trying to say. Jeez. Shut up, dog. Even the dog hates my jokes. So does the wind. Listen to that wind blow. Anyway, for what it's worth, let's get this game hen into the Weber walk. That's what I'm trying to say. Just like so. Okay, we're just gonna let that heat up. We're gonna brown these. Just brown them off a little bit. We're not cooking them all the way through. Be back. A few minutes has passed, and a nice golden brown on these uh, little ladies. So we're going to pull them off right now and set them aside. This could take a while. 
The right tool for the right job, Mr. Smoky Goodness Guy. Use it. And again, we're going in with some more Sangs. Stir fry oil, the best stuff on earth. About a quarter of a cup. Because we're going to stir fry some veggies next. Let that come up to temperature quickly with the lid on. All right, the oil should be up to temperature by now. We're going in with one and a half cups of broccoli and about half a cup of uh, red bell pepper. That's the sound everybody wants to hear, right? Certainly better than this wind. In case you're wondering, yeah, I, uh, I moved the basket of coals back under the wok. I wanted a medium high heat and I ended up with just kind of a medium low heat, so. I moved it back over. That's why they call it stir fry. Keep it moving. I don't think you really have to keep it moving like this. I just like doing it because I like playing with my food, you know? Give it a rest, man. Give it a rest. Okay, okay. We'll be back. Surprisingly enough, this carnivore knows a thing or two about veggies. <laughs> and the broccoli begins to uh, assume a deep green color like this. You know, they're ready to be enhanced by the following ingredients. Beginning with about two teaspoons red wine vinegar. All right, two teaspoons of soy sauce. or a reasonable facsimile. And here comes a fire truck. About one teaspoon of oyster sauce. If we can get it out of the bottle. Coming. I might go a little bit more on this because, did I say teaspoon? I meant tablespoon. Boy, the noise in this neighborhood has just gone up 400%. All right, stir, stir, stir. It's starting to look really good. I'm going to stir this uh, for about two minutes. And we'll be back with more ingredients. And we're going in with the rest of the ingredients. Our chicken, I mean game hen. About some water chestnuts. Gotta have those. Some spring onion. Oh my god, I know everybody says this, I say it. This smells great. But once I get the uh, star of the show into this, it's going to be beyond great. It's almost time for that star now. This, my friends, is a Vietnamese cashew. Like I said, you won't find cashews as good as this anywhere around here. Mm. I go through these things like uh, like nobody's business. And I'm talking with my mouth full. In go our cashews, man. Woo hoo! Vietnamese cashews, and we want a lot of them in there. Oh yeah. They're already toasted, and I know a lot of people right at this point would be compelled to add some salt. But I'm telling you, with these Vietnamese cashews, you don't need salt. You do not need salt. As every lawnmower in the neighborhood starts in. Man, we're just going to finish this off. It's like a grand performance. You could also probably add pepper here, your discretion. For me, that is something that uh, we'll probably save for the table if anybody wants it. They can have it. They're going to plate this up. They're going to take it inside. Show you the finished product. They're going to eat. It's going to be good. Stick around. But how does it taste there, Mr. Smoky Goodness Guy? Let's find out. <laughs>
As I mentioned earlier, you don't need to add salt to this if you're using Vietnamese cashews. They're plenty salty. It's part of the magic of them. But uh, like I said, your discretion, pepper, salt. You pour some uh, hoisin sauce over this or some stir fry, stir fry, oh, yeah. <laughs> whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna eat. See you later. Thanks a lot. Bye. But I'm